So guys, with the last half of this year being the biggest push for full soft driving and robo taxi, we are now just starting to learn the new features that could eventually be coming with this update. The big 10x parameter jump we've long been waiting for is finally coming and this is exactly what's needed to get everyone to jump into the latest build and push them to subscribe and stay subscribed to the software. Earlier this month, Elon responded to a comment on X stating that the upcoming FSD software update expected next month will bring a major step in change improvements particularly for rare driving conditions. Another user followed up by asking if this version could be the version that finally removes the need for safety monitoring. Elon clarified that while the update will substantially reduce the need for driver attentions, drivers will still need to stay alert in certain scenarios. He also added that Tesla's Austin-based RoboTaxi FSD build is about six months ahead of what's currently available in customer cars in the US and that the recent breakthrough in Tesla's AI will make the system feel eerily human-like. Looking back, the jump from FSD version 12 to version 13 is often regarded as the biggest leap in performance. It delivers major advancements in vision processing, including faster 36Hz full resolution video analysis that fully utilizes the hardware on AI4 equipped vehicles. Tesla also achieved a 5x boost in computing power and training capability thanks to the Cortex cluster at Tesla HQ, which also has incorporated the AI four chips. It also cuts down on overall response time in half, reducing the delay between capturing visual data and making driving decisions. Drivers gain the ability to start FSD directly from park mode with a simple on-screen button as well as automatic park and unpark features. Safety and convenience both improved with more accurate collision avoidance and noticeably smoother driving behaviors in parking lots. Tesla added audio inputs using microphones around the car to detect and respond to approaching emergency vehicles. Destination options have been expanded, allowing FSD to stop at specific drop-off points such as driveways and garages. And finally, handling in inclement weather has been improved with better performance when cameras are blocked or obscured, and a message also displays on a center display when it detects that the sensors and lenses are dirty. All right, so there's no doubt that this was one of the biggest updates in FSD we've seen so far. If you haven't sat in a car that has AI4 and the latest version 13, you definitely need to sit in one and try it out for yourself because it is a night and day difference between that and the older vehicles. Now, from the sounds of it, everything is just so wonderful. It drives itself 99% of the time without any interventions at all, and I can attest to this. But the 1% of time where it does need you to take over the steering wheel, it does need some supervision, this is the single point that we need an update to come as quickly as possible. Unfortunately, however, with all that being said, it has been nearly a year without any major releases. And we are just really sitting here patiently waiting for Tesla to drop any update, even if that is just a single desk point to fix some of our issues. Now, luckily for us, however, skipping forward all the way to this past week, we have finally gotten some detail as to the next major release and when we can expect it. Elon has been teasing the next big FSD update, now confirmed as V14. Based on everything he has shared, is shaping up to be a significant release. And while he tends to be overly optimistic at times, his excitement with this one is a promising signal for what's to come. The update is expected to be one of Tesla's largest yet. Elon shared on X that V14 will be the company's second biggest update after V12. FSD version 14 would use 10 times more parameters than V13, which effectively rules out hardware 3 vehicles but should make FSD significantly smoother and more capable than ever before. Along with the parameter boost, the Tesla AI team will improve video quality by reducing compression related data losses, providing clearer inputs for the neural networks. The combination of 10x more parameters and improved visuals should allow FSD to interpret subtle cues and respond more human-like to road imperfections. Elon also confirmed that the update skips the 4x parameter version initially expected this spring jumping straight to 10x version for even better performance. But the most exciting part and the one that matters most to drivers is that Elon has recently confirmed that this upcoming build will significantly reduce the need for driver attention. Based on his wordings, this could mean we're approaching a form of level 3 autonomous driving in certain conditions. Drivers may be able to look away from the road. The system would only require attention during complex intersections heavy weather or unusual events 
alerting the driver when the intervention is necessary. Now, in other news, Tesla is finally bringing back the turn signal on new Model 3 orders and offering a retrofit for older ones. With the launch of the redesigned Model Y in January, Tesla reintroduced the left turn signal stock. It was expected that most models would eventually adopt this across the lineup. Tesla has also added the Hey Tesla wake word to Model Ys sold in China in the recent days through a partnership with DeepSeek, hitting at a wider rollout to the rest rest of the fleet in the coming weeks. What's particularly notable about this feature is that it worked from every seat distinctively recognizing where each passenger is sitting using multiple microphones. It also can be enabled or disabled independently through the UI. Finally, Tesla has added a smart lock option in the latest 2025.26 update. When you remotely lock the vehicle while a phone key is detected inside or nearby, Tesla now alerts passengers both inside and outside of the car through various different methods. On the touchscreen, a new animation indicates that the vehicle can still be open from the outside because a phone key is nearby and on the outside of the car, users are also notified through the hazards light flashing twice and the mirror remains unfolded signaling that the car can still be accessed. So there we have it guys, the long awaited FSD update is finally coming and it's going to be packing a ton of new improvements. This is not only going to be giving us a leap of six months, but this is going to be giving us FSD V13 a year back and jumping one year forward all the way and past the RoboTaxi build, which is also running a version of V13. Apparently, whatever software is running in the Austin and San Francisco Bay Area RoboTaxis are about six months ahead of us. And if everything works out and everything comes true, this V14 is gonna jump way past that, is gonna give us a build that does everything the RoboTaxi does, but even more. Now, of course, with all the talk about FSD and the development, we can't forget about Europe and the rest of the world. We're seeing a lot of new videos being dropped by Tesla AI team and Tesla themselves about vehicles driving perfectly in different countries all across regions. and they are showing that it is fully capable of it and now it's just up to the regulators. It's just gonna be a matter of time now that the government is gonna see the potential and the safety of running V14 in the car and they are just going to allow it, write it into the regulations and Tesla with a flip of a switch is gonna enable this feature and all of you guys are going to experience exactly what we are experiencing over here. So yeah, with all that being said, I can't wait to see V14 drop and I can't wait to experience it myself. This is gonna be a big upgrade. Elon has even said that now it's gonna come with some parking features that is gonna go directly into the parking stall and start the supercharging session. All of this is just word right now, but when it does come true, about a month away now, we are going to see something really incredible. Anyways though, as always, I will continue to keep my eyes out for anything new that comes out and update you as quickly as possible. So I would love it if you stick around, hit the subscribe and that bell notification if you haven't done so already. And follow me on X over there, you guys can chat with me anytime. You'll see things you wouldn't see over here. And yeah, should be it. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. This is John once again. Peace out.